All right, the goal of this video is to show you how to uh, download and install Sigwin, which is a Linux emulator we'll be using for the C++ class, as well as what packages you actually need to do in order to actually write code in uh, the emulator. So Sigwin is a free downloadable emulator for Unix Linux, basically. So what I'm going to do is um, this particular computer is 32-bit, but you just basically go here and download whichever one of these executables you need to uh, for your operating system, 32 or 64. So I also have that linked on my page of um, where Sigwin is. So Sigwin homepage right here. So I've already downloaded it. It's right here. So I'll go ahead and start this. So basically go through, next, install everything from the internet. Uh, C Sigwin is what I'm going to be using. That's fine. You may need a different place to install it. Just have some place you're going to download it to. Maybe that matters to you. Um, direct connection. And then this is a bunch of mirror sites as to where you can actually go. I'm just picking one that I think is in the US. It doesn't really matter that much. Just so long as if you're having a slow connection, go back and try a different mirror. So for C++, the main things we're going to need is we're going to need the new compiler. And that's in the development area. So if I look down here, look at all of these things. They're alphabetical. We need GCC core. Now, I've already installed it. But what it should say right here is skip. And if you click on one of these things, it says skip. Notice it changes so that it'll install it. So what you would do is you would want to do the GCC core, which is this guy here, GCC G++, which is the C++ compiler. And really, that's the two that you have to have. Now, a couple other things I highly recommend are the GDB, which is the new debugger, as well as make, LM make. So make is a way to basically write a script to automatically compile your files, which is really useful if you have lots and lots of different kinds of files, and you don't want to have to compile each one individually. Now, besides having those, once you have those selected, the other part you want to go into besides developer is editors. So in class, we're going to be using Emacs, as generally would all be expecting. If you don't like Emacs, like you just really don't like that text editor, there are a couple others I would recommend. Vim which is uh, VI, basically, enhanced. Uh, it's one of the, another kind of editor that some people really like. And some people really like Nano. So you can select one of those packages if you like it. Once you have that, you basically click Next. It'll say, do you want all of these? You just hit Next. And then it will automatically start downloading all of those packages. And then you should get, when you're all done, basically a little Sigwin terminal that looks something like this. When you launch it, you should get a console window. Once you have this, um, you should be able to start typing Unix commands. 